Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. To kick off our program, please welcome Chief Executive Officer and co-founder of Percona, Peter Zeitzev. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for waking up on my keynote. So today, uh, for a change, I wanted to start by telling you a story, which I don't think I ever shared publicly before. Uh, that is a story about how did I end up using MySQL in the first place. So for me, it all started in 1999, about 15 years ago. I was a third year student at the Moscow State University doing computer science stuff. And my background of databases was only theoretical, you know, some relational algebra and understanding how system R used to work, but that's about it. About that time, I started with my first startup called uh, Spylog. This is something uh, similar to Google uh, Analytics of a day, providing the statistical websites. And obviously, we need a database. Now, my friends and uh, professor at university would tell me what the MySQL is a toy database, and if you want to do some real stuff, you need to use Oracle or at least PostgreSQL. Well, I didn't have money for Oracle, and PostgreSQL documentation sounded a bit intimidated. So I was uh, inquiring about their MySQL, and I ran into, OK, yes, I ran into some uh, a person uh, which I asked, hey, what do you think? I would like to use MySQL, but uh, it's been uh, told it's a toy database and it can't handle workloads. So he would paste me back the result of a query where MySQL would run a group by query on a table a few millions of rows in just a few seconds. Wow, I was sold. I was really impressed at that time, and that's how we ended up using MySQL. And little did I know at that time how many sleepless nights I would have to spend repairing my sum tables by trying to run MySQL 3.23 alpha in production. Lesson learned. So if you think about that, this is uh, their uh, random conversation with a person whose name I don't even remember anymore is what started me on the career path with MySQL and what brought me to talk uh, with you guys uh, here today. And I think this conference is a really great opportunity for you to possibly have some other conversations which uh, will impact your uh, path forward to learn from uh, experts and network with your peers. And I think that's a, a wonderful opportunity. On this uh, show, we have more than 1,000 attendees. And that is 1,000 opportunities to really learn to share uh, your experience uh, and network, which is, I believe is truly uh, uh, amazing and, and much in my school world. I wanted to thank few people. Without those, this event couldn't happen. First, that's Terry and Courtney, our leadership uh, team and the brain behind this conference who do a lot of uh, heavy lifting. Also, our conference committee, who really worked very hard recruiting the speakers and they put together the amazing agenda of the talks we have uh, uh, here today. In the end, it was more than 100 people uh, involved in the organizing and uh, running this event. I mean, I was always surprised and amazed how uh, really, uh, how much work it takes to organize the events like that. So thank you to everybody who involved as well as our speakers. We have more than 146 uh, speakers uh, on this show from all kinds of companies, from the MySQL vendors, from the MySQL practitioners, large and small. Now, I also want to thank our sponsors. Without sponsors, this conference couldn't happen in a way it does because they put large portion of a conference bill. But I don't think that's the most important thing. I think the most important thing is what they really bring a lot of new and exciting, interesting things and technologies to the expo hall, 
uh, without those, the conference wouldn't be as interesting and, and rewarding. I want to mention a few of them. The Fusion IO has been providing the high performance storage for MySQL for years, and they are uh, uh, providing the storage perfect for demanding MySQL applications, powering a lot of uh, startup companies to the enterprises. Our uh, continuant, which has the advanced replication technology for MySQL and other databases, uh, just now we are announcing their uh, the replicator for uh, Hadoop, which allows the real-time data moving from MySQL to Hadoop. Robert will be talking after me and will talk in a lot more details about that. And then they also provide the high-ability solution for uh, the, for MySQL, which is amazing. Booking.com is another major sponsor. We all uh, know uh, Booking.com. I regularly use that to book my travel, but I also want to thank them for really being a great supporter for MySQL community. I have been to many open source conferences and I very frequently run into Booking.com supporting those events. I think that's, a, uh, that's absolutely a great thing. Thank you for uh, SkySQL, PIF, and Machine Zone, and uh, Micron. We have lots of sponsors this year, so I have to use quite a few slides uh, to cover them. And uh, thank you, guys. Why don't we give our sponsors a round of applause? <laughs> now, this conference is also uh, always the time of some conference announcement. And I will mention a few of those, I don't have too much time. I think the most uh, unexpected and a very exciting announcement this year came from WebScale SQL. This group of uh, major MySQL users, Google, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, coming together, pulling the engineering resources to uh, get MySQL ready for uh, the even higher scalability challenges. I think it is amazing to see that effort, and I think it's very good we will have a vendor-neutral voice in this uh, MySQL ecosystem. I'm also very happy to see uh, the uh, MySQL team at Oracle who came up with a lot of uh, new uh, product releases uh, for this conference. Thomas will today will go in a lot more details uh, about this. I will mention just I'm very excited about the uh, MySQL 5.7 developments, both in their milestone release and the labs release, which offers uh, such interesting things as R3 indexes support for uh, InnoDB tables, which I think will help MySQL to excel with uh, su support of new uh, geographically located applications. We also should congratulate MariaDB team, which uh, uh, released MariaDB 10 as GA, this was a very long and fruitful effort, and uh, this uh, MySQL variant, if you'll forgive me this name, uh, will, uh, uh, has support for such advanced features as multi-source replication, as well as has some of the most advanced and optimizer features which are not found in other variants. I also want to mention the Fusion uh, IO in their leadership in uh, uh, having their MySQL, uh, hardware-assisted MySQL optimization for flash storage with uh, uh, the new uh, variant of compression for, my, uh, for MySQL MariaDB Intercorner Server, which is mm, amazing. If you are working on planning your agenda for the show, I think uh, you should consider a few important topics which are covered uh, very well on this conference. First is the MySQL Haveability. This is something which gets a lot of attention in the recent years. And uh, we have all kind of MySQL availability solutions covered on this conference. We're ever using MySQL replication, continuant uh, tungsten replicator, MySQL cluster, or Perconex RB cluster, and other Galera solution. We have an amazing amount of talks which go in depth covering those availability solutions. We also have a good coverage for MySQL in the cloud. Both MySQL in the Amazon Web Services Cloud, which sort of becomes a classic uh, deployment pattern, as well as, uh, as their uh, open, uh, open stack cloud, which is a new generation uh, to fully open source uh, cloud deployment. 
We also have uh, coverage from all three MySQL uh, major variants on this conference, which I believe is a very excited so you can both attend the talks as well as talk to developers from uh, all of those companies to find out about what exists, what coming, and make decision which kind of MySQL variant is right for you. I think it's also very excited what we, uh, what we have happening uh, in the expo hall. Going back uh, to the story I started with, I think there is a lot of value to those uh, random and unexpected conversation you can have. Frankly, each year I find a lot of uh, valuable stuff in the expo hall and I learn a lot from attending it as well as have, have some uh, conversations which continues by surprise drive uh, my career and our business. So I hope you find our expo hall as rewarding as I am. Thank you guys. Okay, thank you, Peter. Well, good morning, everyone. I'm Terry Erzman. I'm the Chief Marketing Officer for Percona, and I'll be the uh, Master of Ceremonies for this week's uh, keynote talks. Um, can I see a quick show of hands? Who's new to the conference this year? Who hasn't been here previously? Great. Lots of new folks. Good to see it. Um, how many people have been here for at least uh, five of the user conferences? Okay, how about 10? Who's been to everyone? Few hands. Good. Welcome. Um, how many people uh, attended the tutorials yesterday? Yeah, lots of folks. Great. I hope uh, you had a good experience there. Uh, a lot of good content that was covered. Um, and uh, how about the welcome reception last night? How many people stopped by for that? Okay, good. So you have a little flavor of what Thursday night will be like. That will be even bigger and better for the. Uh, community networking reception, so I hope everyone can plan to stick around for a little bit Thursday night. If, uh, if you're in the area local and if you're staying here at the hotel, I hope you can stay for the, uh, the whole event. So um, a couple of uh, housekeeping items. First of all, um, this evening, there's the Birds of a Feather sessions. So those are uh, marked in your program. I'm glad to announce that we have two additional Birds of Feather sessions, which I don't think are in the program. So. Um, We'll have a session on uh, web scale SQL, which Peter mentioned. So that, uh, uh, there'll also be a uh, session on Spider Engine, and both of those will be upstairs on the uh, second uh, floor in rooms 203 and 204. So if you have any uh, trouble finding those, there'll be some people to point you in the right direction, but those are additions to the, uh, the uh, other eight Birds of a Feather sessions. The uh, MySQL Community Dinner, follows the BOFs, and that's a Pedro's again this year, I understand. Um, if you have any questions about that, check with uh, Pythian, they're organizing that event. Uh, a few more uh, housekeeping items. So um, one of the things you can do online on your cell phone is um, rate the talks. So if you would please rate the talks after you, um, uh, after you uh, attend the different sessions, just log in. You can rate them right online. If you rate at least five, by Friday afternoon, you'll be in a drawing. We have three $50 gift certificates. We'll raffle off on Friday afternoon to everyone who's completed at least five evaluations, so please log in and do that. Um, uh, now, Peter mentioned the uh, sponsors. Certainly, uh, a big thanks go out to them. Um, in addition to them being here and helping to uh, pay the way, uh, many of them also uh, participated in the Passport program, so hopefully everybody got this card when you registered. If you go around and get all of these stamped and turn it in. There'll be a raffle on Friday at four o'clock. We have a lot of good, uh, good prizes. Um, um, one uh, trick there is WebYog doesn't actually have a booth, so you don't need to give the WebYog stamp. If you get all the others though, turn your uh, card in at the uh, front desk and um, you'll be entered in the drawing. Uh, lunch this year will be in two locations. So we have the primary lunch area, which is on the mezzanine of the Hyatt. For those of you who've been be here before, for those who aren't, there'll be plenty of people to direct you, but it's on the second floor in the Hyatt. There's also a smaller lunch area here at the back of the exhibit area, and we'd like to ask the uh, exhibitors to use the uh, uh, lunch area back here. That'll open 30 minutes early, so you'll have time to uh, eat before the breakout sessions end. Uh, one thing with the uh, lunch and with the uh, 
uh, with the reception on Thursday, also you'll need tickets. So hopefully in your badge, you have your lunch ticket for today. If you have a lunch ticket, you'll need to present that to uh, get into lunches. You should have a couple of drink tickets in there for Thursday night as well. So hold on to your tickets, keep them in a safe place, and uh, uh, you'll need to present those when you, uh, when you go to lunch today. Okay, so besides financially supporting the conference, the uh, sponsors also provide some great speakers. And uh, without uh, further delay, I'd like to uh, introduce our first keynote speaker this morning, Robert Hodges, who is the CEO of Continuant. Robert has over 30 years of experience in database and application engineering. And prior to Continuant, he worked on object relational databases and transaction processing at Sybase. He also held senior engineering positions at Portera and Exigen Group, where he designed and operated software as a service applications. Robert is the original designer of Continuance Tungsten Solution. I'd like to join me in welcoming Robert to the, stand, to the uh, podium. Robert. Thank you. 